India, a country in South Asia populated with more than 1.366 billion people, has experienced a whooping increase in COVID-19 daily cases. On May 6, 2021, India had recorded the highest new daily cases of more than 400,000 cases in just one day. More than 295,000 people had died on the same day, while more than 2.93 million people are still struggling. Many hospitals are packed with the patients, but many patients have never seen the doctors nor the nurses. Both health care providers and patients have been tired and exhausted. It is the Indian second wave of COVID-19 outbreak. Now, how about the ex Madhya Susat Tara countries? Is any country even closer to what India has experienced? Hmm. What the data can tell us. Please stay tuned as you may discover something you may haven't heard before. Welcome to Four Smart People. Teams. Please click like if you like the video, dislike if you don't like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive notifications on our new upcoming videos tailored just for you, the smart people. Majapahit was found in 1293 and reached its golden age during the era of Hayamuro. Located in East Java, Indonesia, Trowulan had become the capital city of Majapahit which extended the empire throughout Southeast Asia. These areas were later called as Nusantara. The empire covered the areas of Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Philippines, and Brunei Darussalam. The COVID-19 has severely damaged many countries. India is currently experiencing the worst hit of the COVID-19. At least, there were 500 cases out of 100,000 people in some districts in India, while in other districts, there were more than 5,000 cases for every 100,000 people. The first wave of COVID in India ended in January 2001. Unfortunately, the second wave started in March 2021 with the highest cases with four times as many as in the first wave. Among countries in Majapahit's Nusantara, Brunei Darussalam, Malaysia, and Philippines have also experienced the second wave. While Brunei's second wave reached about the same level as in the first one, Malaysia experienced 50% higher in the second wave, and Philippines set three times as many as in the first wave. Indonesia and Singapore have not experienced the second wave yet. Let's hope and pray that the second wave will never happen in these countries, as well as other countries that are fighting to end the one and the only wave. While Indonesia's case is declining at slow pace, Singapore has relatively found almost zero cases since October 2020. Can we say that the countries that have good progress in fighting the COVID-19 are endowed with abundant medical staffs, while those with limited medical staffs may have but progress? Let's dig some facts. By 2019, Indonesia has the highest population among these countries with more than 270 million people. Philippines ranked the second one with more than 107 million. Malaysia is the third one with more than 33 million people. Singapore and Brunei have the least with more than 5.7 million people and 0.5 million people respectively. By 2017 or 2019, Indonesia had the highest number of medical doctors of 183,100. Malaysia had the second highest of 68,000 doctors. Philippines followed with 40,775 doctors 
while again, Singapore and Brunei had the least number of doctors of 14,279 and 740 doctors respectively. For comparison, India had 1.8 million medical doctors. Wow! However, these numbers are meaningless as the number of patients, which is a share of population, may outnumber the total doctors. So, the better way to compare is to look at the number of doctors available for every 1,000 population. In this case, Singapore ranked the highest ratio of 2.51, which means that for every 1,000 people, there are more than two doctors that are ready to provide healthcare. Malaysia ranked the second highest with the ratio of 1.66, Brunei followed with 1.61. Indonesia came next with 0.68, and Philippines placed last with 0.4. FYI, any number below 1 means that for every 1,000 people, almost no doctor is available. For comparison, India had a ratio of 1.34. With 1.34 ratio, India is currently suffering from a very limited number of doctors, which led to a massive increase in daily new cases lately. Okay, now what can we learn from all these facts? It is very obvious that it is not the case that countries with big population have multiple waves of COVID-19. Yes, it has potential, but it is not always the case. We can see from the case of Brunei, which had the least population among these countries, while Indonesia has the highest, but does not experience the second wave. Likewise, high ratio of doctors over the population does not guarantee that there is no second wave. Malaysia had the second highest ratio, but had suffered the second wave, while Indonesia, with the second lowest ratio, experienced zero second wave. The size of a country also is not a true guarantee whether a country may have a second wave. Good management, however, does matter. That is, good management in medical resources, economy resources, and good management in policy making truly help. If a country does not have the good management, the country may be the next one after India. That answers the question on the cover. Keep in mind that solving this COVID-19 issue is not a competition. Those who succeed shall not boast of themselves. COVID-19 is not an enemy of a specific country. It is the enemy of human beings. Let's fight together and help each other. Let's keep having positive thinking and always be thankful to God. At last, Let's give big appreciation and applause to the governments, medical staffs, and the people of Brunei Darussalam, India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore, as well as all other countries in the world who have fought and are fighting the COVID-19 for the sake of the love of human beings. Remember, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the things God prepared for those who love Him. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you'll be the first one knowing our new videos. Please click the like button if you like our video or dislike if you dislike. Don't forget to leave us comments down below if you want us to discuss something you like to hear. Thank you and may God bless you.